I'll tell you what, it was quite a day in Manhattan. Hundreds of thousands of people took to the streets for the Pride March. This year's march commemorating the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Uprising, a turning point for the modern gay rights movement. And News 4's Brian Thompson was in the thick of it all. He joins us now from Greenwich Village with all the excitement that apparently is still going on, Brian. It is still going on, still going strong. Look behind me here. You can see six hours after this began, after the first marching, we still have people marching in the streets in front of the Stonewall in itself. Truly a gathering from near and far. Several countries uh, in Europe represented here as part of World Pride Week. They stepped off making history, a movement born 50 years ago in the late night hours of the village, now celebrating a half century. And NYPD motorcycle cops roaring past the site of the Stonewall Uprising, not to attack homosexuals, but to help celebrate the movement that they inadvertently began that dark night five decades ago. Mark Siegel was there that night. Outside, I was proud. Outside, for the first time, I said and yelled, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. Now, millions of people around the world can and do march like this, while presumably millions more still cannot. So they march here in part for them, but also for tolerance in America. And they watched thousands jammed up against police barriers in every block. And they watched from windows, scaffolding supports, balconies, fire escapes, stairs, even atop an advertising kiosk. One of them was 16-year-old Sarah Foley, her mom bringing her down from Meriden in Connecticut. Do you hope this might change some minds? I hope, but I doubt it will. People sometimes, they just, they don't listen. Perhaps a group called Menage a Trois singing the Star Spangled Banner would help, but that long ago uprising brought a core group of activists out of the closet then and this group representing the first marchers a year later. And of course, then there is Stonewall veteran Carla J. We stood up, we changed the press, we changed everything. Change in acceptance for so many, and for Randy Bates, no need for more marches. This is probably my last one. After 38? Yeah, because I made it to the 50th anniversary. One testament to normalcy, at least in New York City, wasn't the parade in its costumes, but the Department of Sanitation workers and their cleanup barrels. <laughs> Getting a healthy round of cheers from this crowd. So if you put 150,000 people on the streets, you can imagine there's a lot to clean up for those guys. Now, when will this parade end? Well, right now, I asked the police officer, I said, well, are we almost near the end of it six hours later? He kind of laughed at me and said, no, more like 10.30 tonight. That's late. Live in the Village, Brian Thompson, News 4 New York.